Welcome to Goalie's Pip Academy. Hey there, math magicians. Welcome to today's magical journey where we take the mystery of addition and subtraction of money and turn it into a laughter-filled equation that even a unicorn would want to solve. Think of Herculean tasks you've tackled in the past. For example, ever played the fair candy share game? That's when you've been lucky enough to have a bag of candy and you and your partner in sweets decide to share. You start to divide evenly. One for you, one for me, and another for you, and so on. Clever trickster that you are, you've just done addition right there. Don't tell me you didn't realize. Well, I'm not surprised. You're shrewder than a fox in a hen house. Now, about subtraction, you've done that too. How? Picture this. You're out shopping with your money at your favorite candy store. You have a $5 bill and your eye on a caramel swirl treat that costs $3. So how much money do you have left? That's right, you'd have $2. You've just subtracted Dear Sherlock. Now, let's delve a bit into the realm of money problems. These aren't the issues that grown-ups moan about at the dinner table. No, these are math word problems that involve money. It's like when you're playing Monopoly and you start calculating if you can buy that hotel on Park Avenue or not. A quick tip here, start with the pennies column on the right and move left, just like how we read. Okay, now brace yourself. It's Quizabaloo time. Question, Jack wants an ice cream sundae for $4 and a sandwich for $3. If he has $10, how much money will he have left after he buys both? A. $3 B, $1 C, $2 D, no money left. Have you select the option A? Yes, you're right. $3 is the right answer. Very well done. Remember, embracing these word problems experience helps reinforce your basic understanding of addition and subtraction and how we apply it in real life scenarios, like getting more ice cream sundaes. Let's talk about addition a bit, when we add two groups of objects together, or when we have an amount to start with and then add more to it. Making the total increase is addition. Is it sounds confusing? Well, here I'm for you. Think about it. You have four candies in your pocket and grandma gives you two more candies. How many candies you have now? Are you thinking of six candies? Yes, folks, it is that simple. Addition is when you put together two or more numbers together to find the total amount. The result of adding two or more numbers is called the sum. Here's another question for you. You have total four cookies in your plate, and Mama gives you three more cookies. How many cookies are there in your plate now? A, two cookies, or B, seven cookies? Take you time, count and think. Have you select the option B? Yes? You're right. Very well done. Remember, here's the secret for success. Practice, practice, practice. It's no different than training for a marathon or learning to do a killer trick on a skateboard. The more you try, the better you get. Soon, you'll be adding and subtracting money like a seasoned Wall Street veteran, maybe even with your eyes closed. In summary, we've journeyed through a land of numbers, from splitting candies to outsmarting Monopoly millionaires and tackled the delightful challenge of money word problems, all using the superpowers of addition and subtraction. That's all for today, folks. Remember to keep practicing because math is your superpower and the world is your playground. This is another video brought to you by Goalie, the best kids tablet. Stay awesome. My mind is blown. Where can I learn more about these videos? Oh yeah, getgoalie.com. There's no ads, there's no junk, just cool stuff for kids and a dedicated tablet. Check it out, getgoalie.com.